Hello everybody, welcome back into the beta territory, this time for the October Fry update. Here you can see one of the seven new spawns I showed you in last month's video. These fry are now about two months old and I divided them over two tanks based on their size. They're feeding on cut life tube effects and also baby brine shrimp. These are the result of a cross between a steel blue half moon placard male from Agenio Fornacero from, with a mixed background, which was crossed to a steel blue half moon placard female from my own line. Not surprisingly, the fry show quite some red, and some of them are also carrier of metallic, uh, heterozygous metallic, that is. I'm very curious how they will develop, uh, especially their form. Uh, and color-wise, of course, it will be a challenge to get back to unicolors, but this is, will be a matter of selective breeding in the coming generations. Here you can see the second spawn. These fry are also two months old and also divided them over two tanks. They are the result of a cross between a super black half moon placard female from Bettina Sperl from Germany, which was crossed to a black half moon placard male from my own line. Uh, my own male had a back lace background showing minimal iridescence. Uh, all the fry seem to be dark bodied and also black. Some of them show some red wash, um, which still might disappear in some, I'm not really sure. Uh, there's not really much iridescence so far, and I'm very curious how these will develop uh, with respect to form, but also color. Here you can see the F3 fry of the veal tail spawn I also showed you last month. There are only eight fry, and they're already bigger than the fry which I showed you in the previous two spawns. I already moved these to a bigger grow-out tank. Uh, as you can see, there are light body and dark body yellows. Already some males started to show some longer thinnage. Uh, I'm very curious how these will develop in the coming weeks. This spawn also already was moved to a bigger grow-out tank. These are the fry of the steel blue half moon placard male from Eugenio Fornacero, which was also the father of the first spawn I showed you in this video. And this time he was crossed to a black half moon placard female from my own line. Um, the fry are dark bodied red, and I expect that their bodies will still darken up a little bit to become brownish black uh, with some red finish. And I do expect a lot of their form uh, based on the way their parents look like. The fry you see here are the result of a royal blue half moon placard female from Matthias Poltzim from Germany, which was crossed to a steel blue half moon placard male from my own line. The fry are both uh, steel blue and royal blue based. Um, unfortunately, I have been losing quite some fry from this spawn every other day without really a known reason. Uh, the dropout now seems to have stabilized, and I hope that these fry will develop further without too much problems. The fry of the sixth spawn is the result of a cross between a metallic blue half moon placard male from Jose Alberto Herrero from Spain, which was crossed to a steel blue half moon placard female from my own line. Interestingly, all these fish seem to be uh, royal blue based, which means that the male must have been a turquoise fish as the female was steel blue. Then we are after the seventh spawn, which I will show you in this video. These are also F3 fry of my veal tail line. Uh, they're also the light and dark bodied uh, based yellows. Uh, they're developing nicely and they will be moved just like the other spawns in the coming month to a bigger grow out tank. I hope you enjoyed watching this month's fry update. If you want to stay tuned of what is going on in my better territory, please subscribe to my channel.